So, are you a streamer or a content creator or let's say someone who just, you know, works from home and has to attend a lot of Zoom calls and Teams calls and all those things? And the problem you face is that there is a lot of ambient noise around you. There is construction going on. There is people chirping around. There is uh, sounds of utensils. There are sounds of vehicles passing by your house. And it constantly frustrates you. I mean, I know I am a content creator and I have to suffer from it a lot. I have to constantly repeat my lines. I have to retake my shots. You know, it's a big, big issue for a lot of people who don't have their own studios or don't have their own recording rooms where there is like less noise and it's easier to record. It's really difficult for them to record their voiceovers or, you know, do high quality streams where there is no background noise. But I may just have the solution for you. Hey guys, it's Diptesh and welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we'll talk about NVIDIA RTX Voice, which is in my opinion, the best AI powered background noise removal tool, which does remove the background noise so well, as you see in the examples I'll show you, that too in real time. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so before uh, showing you RTX Voice, a bit of a history. So RTX Voice, as the name suggests, it was only supported previously on RTX GPUs. So anywhere starting from RTX 2050 and above. However, I've seen, you know, in the last few days, I discovered this, that RTX Voice now works on GTX cards as well. RTX Voice has been separated into two parts. So there is RTX Voice integrated into NVIDIA Broadcast, which is only available on RTX cards. And then they have done, they have like separated RTX Voice as a standalone software, which also works on GTX cards. So I'll be using it on a GTX 1650 laptop to show you how effective it is. So now I'm not sure how they're able to use it on a GTX laptop because a G, on, a, on a GTX card because GTX cards don't have tensor cores. However, what I think is that they are using the regular CUDA cores to uh, for the noise removal and I and it's possible that it takes a bigger hit to performance on GTX cards than on RTX cards. Since RTX cards have those dedicated tensor cores for the background noise removal. So I think on RTX cards, there is a less of a GPU, you know, bot, like there is less of a GPU hit. Whereas in GTX cards, I feel there is a greater uh, GPU hit uh, when you use RTX Voice. So without any further ado, let's see how you can install RTX Voice. Actually, the installation is super simple. As you can see, you just have to download the executable from NVIDIA site. So if you have RTX GPUs, then you will install NVIDIA Broadcast. And if you have a non-RTX GPU, then it's just install the RTX Voice executable. So let's do it. So there we go, RTX voice has installed so quick. Okay, now let's just close it. And now you can see uh, RTX voice is turning on. Okay, so now you have to do a little bit of a uh, configuration. It is very simple. So we have the input device and then you have the output device. So RTX voice can be applied on both. So if we select our, you know, our microphone array, which is now using my uh, headset mic because my headset has a microphone and select remove background noise from my microphone. And you can control the percentage of suppression you want. And then you can also apply RTX voice on the output device. So this is important or, you know, you may or may not like it. So what it does is if you apply the RTX voice on the actual speaker or whatever is the output source. So let's say you're talking with another friend over Discord or let's say any, you know, voice chat or whatever. Maybe they're having background noise on their, uh, you know, environment. Like they are having background noise and that background noise is coming over to you and distracting you. So you can apply RTX voice on the output device as well. So it will filter out every, uh, all the background noise from the speaker. However, I choose not to do so. I don't need it. So we have applied RTX voice on the input device. That is the microphone array. And you can simply just close it. And RTX voice will be running here. And you can access it over here in this small uh, option or menu over here. So here we go. Okay, now that we have installed RTX voice, let's see how you can use it in your favorite application. So it is OBS and I want to use RTX voice in OBS. So whether it is OBS or any other app, 
whatever application that you're using must have an audio input capture source like the source that is using the device that it is using to capture the audio so here in OBS you can just click on the audio input capture properties and you can see over here that it is using the regular microphone to capture the audio and the regular microphone in the sense that it is using my headset mic since my headset has a microphone uh, built into it so it is using the headset microphone now in order to use RTX voice on top of it all you have to do is select the device option and select microphone RTX voice and once you press ok over here RTX voice will start working in real time to filter out all the background noise. So that's very simple to use. So now to show you the effect of RTX voice or the improvement brought about by RTX voice, I'm going to go back to my regular microphone and hit OK and we'll see what the regular microphone sounds like. So to test it, you have to observe this audio input capture, uh, you know, the decibel level shown over here or you can see the audio level over here. Okay. So whenever I speak, you can see the audio level goes up and down. Now, what I have done over here is here I have a here I have my Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. It has got uh, dual speakers and the audio from it is very loud. If you put it in uh, full blast, it will make a lot of noise, a lot of sound and it's much louder than my laptop, than this HP laptop actually. So I have a video over here which simulates, uh, you know, chaotic environment. So it's a video of a restaurant where there is a lot of people around talking and a lot of, uh, you know, uh, the vehicles going going about and a lot of just a chaotic noise. And we'll see when I play this video at full blast to my microphone over here, we'll see the audio level over here, the audio capture level over here. Okay, so let's just start. So as you saw, it was quite loud and the audio mixer was showing, you know, almost half of it was uh, filling up with this background noise. And now I'm going to attempt to speak on top of this noise. So let's see how it sounds like. All right. So now I'm speaking on top of this uh, background noise and I'm speaking quite loudly so that my voice can overpower this background noise. So one, two, three, mic test, one, two, three, mic test. This is the test speaking on top of the background noise through my XR E900 gaming headphone. So yeah, do let me know how it sounds like. I'm pretty sure it sounds quite distracting. So you heard it. Now let's enable RTX voice. So observe the audio capture, uh, audio levels. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my settings, properties select enter video rtx voice now just observe putting my tablet back here and i'm gonna put it on full volume again and let's see how effectively it can remove the background noise So you can instantly see, you can visualize the difference that the when the background noise was going on, like the audio capture was barely picking up a noise. It was just fluctuating sometimes. It may be because of my breathing also, but you can see it was very little, like only a little bit of the audio was being captured through OBS. So OBS was like not capturing the, it was not able to even get a sense of the such a loud background noise. So RTX voice are working really hard to remove all the background noise possible. Now I'm going to attempt to speak on top of this noise. So let's try that. Hey guys, this is the test of RTX voice. And right now I am speaking on top of this uh, background noise and RTX voice is enabled. So I'm trying to speak at a decently loud uh, volume. So that if I am able to help RTX voice further to overpower the background noise. So do let me know how the audio is coming out right now. And do you think this is enough? Remember guys, this is a very challenging scenario. Normally when there is ambient noise around you, it's possible that the noise is a little bit far away. It's like, let's say outside your house or let's say in the other room. 
it's not something which is directly into your microphone. So this is an extreme test. So let's let's hear how good or, or how bad or how good Arctic voice is working. I just uh, listened back to the audio recording that I just did and I am super, super impressed. Yes, I feel you guys uh, may not understand how difficult it is to remove background noise manually like using software like Audacity and all those things. It is not easy, guys. And removing background noise like from a such a complicated audio source, like when the source of the like the source is so complicated like you are speaking on top of that there is so many different frequencies of chaotic noise in the background it is very difficult to separate those and yes the audio is obviously not as clean as like the my, my voice doesn't sound as clean as it would if there was no background noise obviously because there are some frequencies of background noise which matches with the frequencies of your audio which which as a result you know there is a slight degradation to the quality of your own uh own voice however in such an extreme scenario where the like where the background noise like where the chaotic noise is directly pointed to your microphone and even then i mean it's a incredible uh, performance by rtx voice and i think i will always definitely use this going forward because it would really help me uh, to minimize the number of cuts and also you know uh, it will help me in recording long clips without distracting background noise make sure that you always close it when you are using it on battery power so rtx voice as i showed you right it is using the gpu and you can see the rtx voice is running here in the background over here in this little corner over here you can see it is running so you make sure you exit it guys make sure you exit it because otherwise it will absolutely drain your battery because it will enable it will uh, you know uh, activate the dedicated gpu and that will definitely destroy your battery life so when you uh, use your laptop on battery, make sure to uh, exit RTX voice manually. So yeah, just keep that in mind. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. I wanted to show you the abilities of RTX voice and how how good this is. And if you have an RTX GPU, you can take advantage of the NVIDIA broadcast application, which can which has, which has not only has this background noise removal, you also have webcam AI noise removal so that you can have cleaner noise-free webcam quality. You can remove the background of your uh, you know of your you can remove your background and uh, it's a all-in-one solution that is auto framing and all those things if you have an RTX card but if you have a GTX card it's great that now you're able to use RTX voice because it's one of the best killer features of all NVIDIA cards right now because it's available to both GTX and RTX card so yeah all right guys uh, more videos to come so definitely stay tuned on the channel and if you're new to the channel then please subscribe and turn on notifications and yeah Take care guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.